Okay, why don't we move over to the next subject now? Yeah. Money and business. Let's go. All righty. Great <sighs> leaders are inconsistent. Mm. I think I think I can I can understand that and I can definitely relate. I mean, I'm sure we've all worked for somebody that's yes. a little inconsistent <laughs> or all over the place. Or know somebody. Difficult. Know somebody. Yeah. Or, or know somebody, mm-hmm. and it's maybe it's difficult to like stay on one track, and that, that can be frustrating for like you as the employee. It could be really frustrating because um, it's out of your control. Yeah, you're you in know, this cart, and you gotta like yeah, put your you're, you're trying like, Whoa, to where you're we trying are. to get there. Yeah. You're trying to go the way that you were told originally, yeah. but then maybe things change yes. and things are all over the place. Yes. But I think we have to maybe flip. That perspective. Oh, I Maybe agree. Maybe look at it from the bosses or the CEO or the, the manager. I agree. And maybe think, what is it that they're going through? What is it that, that that's yeah. happening with them? Why are there, you know, what are the changes, this mm-hmm. and that? But inconsistency, I think, in leadership, it kind of goes hand in hand, even though you wouldn't think that maybe, but I think so. No, I, I totally agree. I mean, it, there was an article that I read that it actually talked about, um, you know, they did a survey on some employees and they said, or they asked them, what are the qualities that you appreciate in a good manager? And and the number, or I shouldn't say the number one, but a lot of them said they value consistency. Yeah, you know, consistency would, yeah. with employees. To me, in my opinion, this is not, I know this is how I feel. It feels safe. Yeah, yeah, you know it does. It feels yeah. like there's a there, we have there's a process and there's a plan and there's the you know structure. this is exactly it mm-hmm. feels safe. So I mean, I can kind of see how that could you know throw you for a loop because you know you it can you know make you feel fear. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, we. This is our job. I mean, mm-hmm. we, you know, for many of us, you know, you're you're going, you're clocking in somewhere forty hours a week, and that's how you make a living. And you know, you have to re- provide for a family. Yeah. If you have, you know, a, a job or you know, a place of employment where things are kind of on the rocks, and like maybe you're not coming in all the time, or things are changing, your job is changing, you know, your like your tasks, whatever. Like, and, and that can be very unsettling mm-hmm. for anyone, especially when you have to think about like I have a family to provide for. Mm-hmm. Other people are, you know, I have responsibilities and, yeah, that can be very, yeah, very because, stressful. Yeah, and, like, and not to mention, you, you said, you know, the tasks constantly, you know. I totally am down for, like, multitask, you know, learning new things and multitasking. However, but I, I hear you when you're saying the point about, you know, the constantly, you know, flexion. Because, I mean, it is true that you get good at something. Mm-hmm. Right. You get good at something. That's where it gets, yeah. like, that can be very <clears throat> difficult to, like, let go of. Yeah. Because, you know, you put so much time yeah. and work and effort, blood, sweat, and tears, all of it. And then it's like, oh, we're going to go in another direction. Yes. <laughs> and then you don't get that. Hard. You don't get hard. that achievement of, okay, I'm doing good. It's like, okay, what am mm-hmm. I doing? That's good because you're constantly having to do something different. So yeah. I, I totally agree. With, and that that is a real thing. I mean, I can totally feel that way. Like, wh- am I achieving something? You know, everybody wants to feel like they're doing the right thing. Everybody yeah. wants to feel like they're doing something right. And sometimes when you're on that thing, you're like, okay, something's not working. It's it's a it's a it's an emotional roller coaster, right? Yes, it is. Emotional. It really is. So like, mm-hmm. it really it's like so as a leader though, like we're talking about this from like the employee's perspective, yeah. like how it must feel to be in that seat. But let's look at it from the other way. Like as the leader, yeah. how do we go about that? How do you go about trying to build a business, a successful business, maybe from the ground up in most cases? And try to keep it on a steady path, you know, consistently yeah. forward without having everyone around you feel like you're so inconsistent, you know? How do you do that? Well, I don't, I don't have the answer, but I can tell you from experience <laughs> because my boyfriend, he we, um, used to have a, I mean, he still has his business, but he used to have a small office with people that came in, you know, a lot of them work remotely now, but um, it, people are different, okay? Are everybody different. comes from different backgrounds, everybody comes from different you know, work ethics, families, countries, cities, whatever. Mm-hmm. And as a leader, you need to know that. Yes. Yeah. And you need to not cave in, but you need to recognize that. You said, and you need to acknowledge that mm-hmm. they're not the same. And so yeah. some people need maybe a little more structure than others. Some people need more freedom to, to go and do their thing and not worry that you're going to be checking the work. You know, you have to be a leader and, and to recognize yes. in that in those people and say, this person's strength is this. I know that's this, and they're all different, and that's that inconsistency. So I'm not treating you or you and you and you and you the same because I know that's not your strength, and that's yeah. not your strength. Absolutely. And I was actually seeing on, I think it says getlighthouse.com, it was, they were talking about something called the leadership paradox, and it's kind of this understanding of like balancing being 
consistent and inconsistent. They're yes, basically yes. saying that all leaders, <clears throat> all great leaders are consistent and inconsistent. And yes. what it is, is that you want to be able to have, you want to understand what areas you should be consistent in. Oh, yeah. And then what areas Getting not paid to on be. time. Yes. Okay. Like the values uh-huh. of the company yes. or like the culture that you set for the company, yeah, right? Those exactly. Are you don't, those are the things you don't want to change. Unbreakable. You want to be consistent. Absolutely. Because that's who you are. This is who we are. This is what we do. Exactly. You don't, want the, you don't want the foundation of your company to be shaky. Yep. So there's things like that, like, you know, the examples that you set, you know, maybe having one-on-one interactions with your employees. These are things that you should be consistent about and you should really always do. Yes. And then there are things like you were mentioning, inconsistent things, which is like understanding different people, different different backgrounds, you know, understanding how to motivate a particular per- person exactly. versus another person. This person likes cookies, you this person likes stickers. Absolutely. You, you need to yeah. know the difference. And Absolutely. you want to be able to, mm-hmm. you know, amp up your team mm-hmm. correctly. And you want to be able to get the things that you want to get done done. So, exactly. you you know, it, it all goes around. Everything even for, connected. like, customers. Like, even if, like, you are a customer or someone who sells coffee or donuts or whatever, your customers, <laughs> you I mean, you have to be consistent with the food. Yes, you know? exactly. But you also have to be flexible to be inconsistent to let those people order what they want. Right. Like maybe they don't want to have this kind of sugar. They want another sweetener exactly. or something. Like, you know, is that what you're saying? Yeah, Like exactly. supplementing and adding different things, substituting, exactly. working around it. I think that's the way that we have to think about that. Like as leaders, you don't want to be so, like, so assertive that you can't even, like, no one can talk to you. But you don't want to be a pushover either. Yeah. You don't want to be so flexible that it's yeah. like, oh, we can get away with anything. So it really is about finding that perfect balance of, you know, being consistently inconsistent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. With the right people. Exactly. That's I totally agree. Right. That's what I think. That's I, what I agree think. with you. I mean, that is... It's, it's it, not easy, though. No, it's not. It's not going to be easy. It's because gonna be you easy. want everybody to just do what you're saying. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. Or you want to be, you know, you want to be treated like everybody else. But the reality you is... You of course. Sometimes you don't want to be treated like everybody else because you're not like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, absolutely. You're you're the manager or, or you know, the leader mm-hmm. in this case, whatever. And you want the respect as... The manager, but I think also that's what we have to. I think when we have this conversation, we have to flip flop between perspectives because we have to acknowledge the other perspective There's every time. Two sides. To As a leader, story. I have to think about my employees. As the employee, I have to think about yeah. the leader and the the company. Absolutely, it goes both ways. Exactly. You can't. You can't. You can't drop yeah, the ball. Exactly. And exactly. That, we can't just say like, "Oh, the leader's wrong." The employees. No, mm-hmm. we have to all work together, and we have to all. Get this this train moving. <laughs> yes, I totally agree. And we I, we want to hear from you. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Have you had any experience where you had a manager or a leader or somebody, a mentor that was inconsistent and it, it held you back from being the best that yeah. you could be? Or and what did you do? You know, maybe there are some great tips that you could share with other people who are dealing with inconsistent management or, you know, just trying to find, or maybe they're a leader themselves, mm-hmm. trying to find yeah. out what they should do with their employees, right. what Why direction should yeah. they go in, you know? Yeah, because... So whatever it is, you guys, whatever your thoughts are, please share with us. You can either, you know, drop a comment below or you can even email us show at believe.love. Yep. <laughs>